Chapter 1.2 Abraxa The Cloud and the Stone The symbols of our science, which is also an art, contain not only possibilities of intellectual realization, but also elements of actions, secret paths of power by means of the mental fire awakened in the sacred work. In the medieval writings of this tradition, you will have found recurrent themes such as fire around the black stone or cloud which arises from it. You may smile at those who imagine common chemical operations here, combustions and vapors emitted by the heating of certain dead substances. If you know that the stone is the animal body, the cloud the subtle body, and the fire something difficult to understand by one who has never kindled it. But even if you already know this, be assured that you are still a long way from the ritual realization of the power of the formula. I will now instruct you on this. First and foremost, you must know the separate elements through preparation, confection, and in practice. They are the black stone and the fire. As for the third, which is the cloud, the very act of the ritual is intended to give you the experience of it. You know that our laboratory is the body. This vessel, eight spans tall, comprises the elements, the origin of the elements, their life, and their resolution on either upward or downward paths, according to the action and the ritual. Like one who unravels something that was intertwined, and once its parts are separated, distinguishes, knows, and replaces them piece by piece, just so, with the subtle, spagyric art while enclosed in your form, amalgamated with your substance, frozen in magical equilibrium, you will separate and extract from your compound the elements needed for the operation. Knowledge of the Stone This has already been mentioned to you more than once. Supine position, strictly horizontal, immobile, like someone who has been knocked to the ground by a mortal blow in symbolic magical analogy, to the condition of radical passivity that precedes the living resurrection. Immobilization of thought, extinction of the specialized sensations of the various organs, functions, and sensory centers. Having reached the state of silence, undifferentiated calm, interiority reposing in itself, acting in a subtle and gentle way, you cause a somehow imponderable sensation of your immobile body to emerge. Hold on to the state that ensues. Imprint it exactly on your consciousness. Then add Saturn to Mercury. In other words, with an instantaneous mental act, realize the image sensation of yourself as a skeleton. Reduce yourself to naked bones, empty, fleshless, lifeless, and remain firm and fearless in your mind. The transformation is blacker than black, mortal ice, petrification of minerality. It is the lapis niger, black stone. Take possession of it. If apparitions arise, kill them, detaching your attention from them and holding it firm in silent identification, centered, profound, hieratic in the resultant state. Knowledge of the Fire Bring yourself back to the silence, but now with an intensely vitalized attitude, with a warm, fervid attention that runs through the body, that is felt and collected in the body. Not conscious concentration, but an intense, ardent concentration. As though completely absorbed with vibrant enthusiasm, in some work or thought in which your whole soul is plunged, but here with no thought, no object, or if you prefer, with its sole object being this absorption itself, this growing attention, intensive deepening, will, life, ardor, which without losing active concentration, thrusts into ever deeper strata of the substance made from the general sensation of the body. All this in immobility. As you know, there should be no strain. 
if you touch the coarse physical fabric of the body, stopping the energies, all would be in vain. In this desire of holding and conjoining with oneself, like water immersed in water, think of an enfolding, a cooking, nourishing, hatching, an enveloping feverish heat, I would even say passionate, is the indication that a text has already given to you. If you can work thus, you will notice at a certain moment, and in a distinct form, a special state of warmth diffused through the body. No ordinary warmth, but a strange, living, and vibrant one. Uniting yourself directly with it, now that you are able, increase it. Then let the perception of the body fall away, concentrating only on the state. Close and fix it. Thus you have the second element. The Ritual Synthesis Always keep in mind what I have told you about the magic of the image. Introduction to Magic, Volume 1, 266 to 272. It asks you to learn how to amalgamate an image with a state, to project an image that is at the same time the presence of a state. Otherwise, the creative spark for any hermetic operation will be lacking. I have told you about the preparation of the stone and the fire. Through tenacious and long practice, you know that all haste is from the devil. Just as the uncertain and difficult attempt becomes with practice and ability, an automatism, instantly obedient to the will. Thus too your spirit must have in its power the states corresponding to these two symbols. Like a precise memory, or a notion once acquired and understood, which you can recall at will. It is a matter of linking these states with the effective images of stone and fire, but do not proceed to the operative synthesis before you are entirely secure in possession of what I have now told you. If you also want to operate with ritual arrangements, remember what you were told concerning the work with the mirror. Introduction to Magic, Volume 1, 72-78. Send yourself back into the silence. Once released, remain there, calm, no worry, no thought anticipating what you are to do. Suddenly, like a scene illuminated by a flash of lightning and returning to the dark, the mind will realize the vision, stone, fire that strikes the stone, white cloud that frees itself and ascends. If the projection is accurate in its direction, sufficient in its energy, and animated, the states of visualizing fire and stone that you have prepared and mastered must burn intensely, then the complete detachment may occur, the transference into the magical body. This is a powerful ritual. It is not free of dangers for someone wanting in firmness of mind. Rapidity in the restraint and destruction of every instinctive and instant reaction of the psychic entity. In case of difficulty in regaining control of the physical body, recall what I have told you about doubling. Introduction to Magic, Volume 1, 218 through 227. The ritual is powerful, but the soul of this power, its key, lever, and unique instrument of awakening, is concentration. I say it again to avoid misunderstandings about what has been communicated in these pages. Some may be deluding themselves about the presumed virtues of some neat formula or secret when thought is habitually wandering, absent-minded, flitting, abstracted, or discontinuous. Before undertaking any work, you must be able to achieve absolute concentration. That means, I think the object, I think of the object, I think about the object, I live the object. Neither I nor any other exists, but the object stands steady, unique, isolated at the center of the mental fire. Just as the arrow, once shot and deeply embedded, moves no more, like the solid rock unmoved by the gusts of wind. Thus the single object subsists in the void of the mind. It matters not whether this takes you months or years, 
If you lack the strength, or if this condition seems too hard for you, consider what other excellent things in human life you can direct your action to besides magic. Saturnian Fire Many means are known for lighting the hermetic and philosophic fire. Reviewing what I and others have said previously, you will be able to find elements of instruction and choose from them. The following law will furnish you with one more. Each time a wish is translated into a physical movement, an apparition of the fire is produced in the substance of the subtle body. Depending on how far you have come, you will see how you can make use of this knowledge. The fires, or sulfurs, that you can master by this means are of a very precious quality. They are the so-called sulfurs of Saturn, also known as metallic. The present essay by Abraxa can be recommended to those who may have organized a chain as an instrument to be substituted in a later phase for that of simple silence in the individual discipline. On this, see Introduction to Magic, Volume 2, 42-52.